Hello, everybody. Today we are doing a first look at Hade Star. It is a game I just found out about, and one of my friends is telling me about it, and it, he said it's like EVE Online, which is cool, because I've always wanted to play EVE Online. I played a little, but it's really something you have to kind of set aside a lot of time for, and I don't really have that time. So this is supposed to be an MMO set in space. Let's go ahead and establish my first colony. Now, I'm not sure if it's like EVE Online, because that's what they were comparing it to, but it seems like right here I'm establishing a colony. You don't really do that in EVE that I can remember, but I never really got far. I just had, like, a spaceship. Okay, so we're starting a planet. Okay, I get a select transport ship. We'll do this. And shipment. Okay, I'll do transport in orbit. Okay. So select destination. Where do I, okay, I want it to go there. Once the ship has departed, you cannot change its course and must wait until it reaches its destination. Okay. It's almost reminded me of like a Master of Orion or Galactic Civilization type game. Except here, I'm doing more trading. So transports in orbit. I'm going to take it over here, I guess. Oh, okay, you gotta select move. What are these things? Okay, these are fields that you can mine for asteroids. And... Okay, so I got 35 credits, it looks like. Crystals, nah. I don't want to add crystals right now. Let's see. Add crystals. Okay, so crystals seem to be the... It's a free-to-play game, so crystals seems to be the premium currency here, I'm guessing. And then I can use them to fill my hydrogen supply, and I can also use them to get some credits. All right, let's see at this here. Shipment. We got some diamonds. And this planet wants them. So, so far, I'm just transporting stuff around this system. I kind of want to investigate this system over here. Let's scroll out. So, that's the star we're around. And that's as far as I can scroll out right now. I'm going to assume that there is a huge galaxy out yeah, colonized by Onasurus. That's me. So, let's go ahead and upgrade this ready to explore, and you'll be able to attack other people's ships, and maybe take over other planets. But first, we've got to get the basics down now. Okay, I want them to call me that. Options. So I can build a shipyard, short-range scanner, red star scanner, research station, and diplomacy station, which will let me have relations with other players. Let's go ahead to place my first shipyard. Oh, has to be away from the planet. Okay. Um, I guess right out here. Hmm, select a location. Okay, there we go. I didn't really want it there. I wanted it closer to these asteroids, but whatever. Let's go ahead and finish construction of my shipyard and get some more ships. Maybe get this other planet colonized in my system. And while I'm doing that, I might as well... I don't want to upgrade yet. But... I do have some diamonds that... This planet or moon wants. Options here transport. Okay, oh, a miner. I want that. Because I want to start mining these asteroids. So, yeah, when people told me, or my friend told me it was like EVE Online, I think they just meant it was a large scale MMO set in space. Because this seems like a lot more planetary resource management. Which is cool. Okay. Let's. So you got some silicon here. Okay. Go 
ahead and trans... I bet later on I can make it so these hold more. Yeah, go there. Cool. Now I want you to go mine this. Colony ship, let's look. Battleship, upgrade design. Okay, I wonder if it lets me design ships. So shipyard allows scanning nearby. So how do I go and colonize this place? So I put a ship in orbit, and it looks like it'd be 500. Eh, I don't want notifications quite yet. Don't allow. So this is mining for me. Go ahead and ship this. Send it off to the planet here. Takes a second to load, okay. Upgrade, okay, upgrade again. Yeah, I kinda wanna get. Okay. So I'm up to 434, so I'm almost where I can go and colonize this other planet. Looks like we're gonna upgrade first. upgrading my... I don't want to waste a credit. No, I can wait. Okay, there we go. So let's move him right around here and see if I can colonize this planet. Let's me make a second transport ship. If I do that, can I... Okay, I can't colonize if I do that, so we're going to hold off on that. Okay, and there are other packs you can buy for resources. Also a... Okay, you can also reduce your ship build and upgrade prices by 10% permanently for a thousand... Crystals, and how much is a thousand? That's four ninety-nine. Oh no, I think you get a thousand crystals and you can permanently reduce your upgrade costs by that much. So that's probably like the beginner's pack that they're trying to sell, get everybody interested in the game. Uh, okay, it's not available at this phase of a tutorial. My bad, I'm still playing a tutorial. Oh, now it wants me to colonize the second planet, okay. Credits here, so you have a maximum storage for credits, so it's kind of Clash of Clanny in that respect, or maybe even a little like Vega Conflict. All right, so now I need to construct a short range. Can I move this? Nah, not yet. Construct a short range scanner, okay. First, I want to upgrade this planet. Okay, I can't do it in a tutorial. A scanner right there. So a short-range scanner will allow me to start exploring new sectors in this star system. Cool. So is this one star system that I'm in? I don't know if every player has like their own star system. Or... This potential to be a pretty big game. I could spend money and speed this up. Yeah, I could spend one credit or crystal, but I'm not going to do it. Finish construction. Uh, 20 seconds. We can wait 20 seconds. In the meantime, station and shipyard, so I want you to go there. 
you're stationed there. I want you to go here. Explore a new sector. Okay. Okay, so each of these is its own sector, and I can spend 2,500 to explore a sector. Okay, for the sake of this video, I will use a crystal. There, there's another planet, and, uh-oh, that looks like another player, or, since it's a tutorial, it's probably just an enemy AI, or I don't even know if it's an AI, it might just be a little husk there designed for me to beat. Okay, you got a Cerberus Sentinel, so let's go to my shipyard, there's my battleship, let's look at it. So it has modules on it, so it looks like there will be some customization. I can install modules, okay. So I can put a shield in there, probably research new shields and stuff. That's cool. I do like things like Master of Orion where you can go and kind of customize your ship. It's always one of my favorite aspects of that game. Well, plus all the ship combat and the making new worlds. And Okay, so a Cerberus, let's see, Cerberus Destroyer, new ship that can annihilate entire planets. So I don't know if Cerberus is like the bad guys in this game, or if that's just like the name of the ship. I didn't get a lot of lore when I started the game. It's kind of like, here you are. It's like people have been playing, and there are already a bunch of corporations in this game, so... Oh, the Time Lords. Yeah, a lot of people seem to be playing this. It just came out, so... Okay, so it looks like combat's going on here. You can see them attacking each other. Nice feature if you zoom in. And can I take over this moon? Colonize a new planet. Select your battleship. I did that. Move command or drag your ship to the new planet. Okay, so I guess I have to go to... Okay, I like that a lot more than... Yeah, this move... just by dragging. Okay. That's a transport. That's a miner. Okay, there we go. Gotta play with it just a little, but I think I prefer that. And, let's take over this planet. I thought I put my ship in orbit. Okay, go. Rename this star, and eh, maybe later. It's a yellow star, currently stable, small system size, but very secure. So yellow stars contain numerous habitable planets and are great for base building infrastructure. Each empire has assigned its own yellow star to establish its base of operations. So this seems to be my home area. Maybe, like, people can't actually go and take over this area. I don't know. I'm probably going to play this for a while after I put up the game here and probably come back next week and update. The damaged ship will slowly repair when docked on a colonized planet. Awesome. And, yeah, we do want to upgrade this. Oh, I didn't... Shoot. Okay, so it's easy to use... I meant to upgrade my planet. 
Okay, I can't do it yet. And that wasted some of my credits, unfortunately. So it's pretty easy to accidentally use your credits. Or crystal, I'm sorry. It's easy to use a premium currency. Different games call them different things. Go ahead and miner there. Okay, miner, you need to go back to these asteroids. Transport, no. Silicon. So far, my empire is slowly starting. So it's a basic overlook of the game. It seems to be not really like EVE Online, unless they've drastically changed EVE Online, but as far as I understood, EVE Online was always just a single player. You're in a ship, and you join corporation stuff. This is more kind of building up your resources, building up your planets, building up star systems. And I'm sure after I take over this entire star system, I can start taking over some other star systems that are more contested. But we will find that out in the future. I am going to keep playing this game, and I will come back next week. And we will look at what the game looks like after about a week of play. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you gleaned some knowledge from our first look at this game. If you did, give a thumbs up to the video. Remember to subscribe to the channel. And have a great day.